I thought I would leave you, though, with five things that I had been told when I was a Kellogg student, and I was really glad somebody told me. The uh, first was, befriend foreign students, you know. <laughs> before the days of, like, um, cars.com and eBay and selling cars on eBay, it was like the best way to get a new car at a great price. Because, you know, these people are going back to, to different countries and they want to get rid of their cars. <laughs> but, um, but really, because of the, the, the language barrier, because of the language challenges, there are some really, really interesting classmates that you have that you may not recognize because they may not uh, present themselves initially the way uh, a, a typical American peer might, but make a point of it. And so I'd say some of my most lasting um, relationships have been with international students. Organizational behavior classes are great. What they used to do this, I don't think they do this anymore. They used to interview alums 10 years out and ask them what were the most useful classes that you took and they published the scores. And I would get the surveys when I was a student and I would say, this is useless. Organizational behavior is number one on all of this. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> the point is lots of people have great technical skills but they don't know how to work with people. What you learn in those classes, no matter what your major is, it, you are going to find hugely useful later in your career. Number three, passion vis-a-vis -vis, uh, uh, what you do well. They're not always the same thing. And at some point, you have to make a call as to whether or not it's what you do really well or your passion is going to be your vocation. Maybe the other can be your uh, avocation that you do you know, uh, uh, as a hobby. Uh, for me, I love film. But when I recognize it takes 10 years in cases to get a film made, we just helped fund a, a documentary on, on Nas um, that's been touring the country, and it took the, the directors 10 years to make it. That is not the, that's not the career for me. So, you're going to have to really think about that and decide what, what fits best for you, passion or versus things you do well. And, and you're lucky if they can be both. Be patient. And I don't mean, I don't mean be satisfied and settle. What I do mean is that sometimes the fastest track forward is not the best track forward. When um, I was at Johnson & Johnson, I was asked initially to take the Band-Aid job, and, uh, and, I, and I passed. I, someone had, another colleague had coached me and said, you know, you don't really have to do that assignment. And they don't have a technology pipeline right now. They're developing it. So it's not such a good time to take that job. And I told my boss, gee, I'm really engaged in these projects now, and I need to keep shepherding them. I ended up not taking the job, and six months later being promoted to being the boss of the person who did. So sometimes the fastest route is not the best route. Just keep that in mind. And then lastly, just be you. You guys are fantastic. You know, all of these alums, like me, joke that, my God, we would have never gotten into Kellogg if we had to apply with you guys. So it's a really talented class. You guys are great. You're going to have a brilliant future. And we just look forward to seeing what you all do with your talent. Thank you very much. <laughs>